My tooth is loose. Let me look in there. Hmm. What do you see? It's loose, all right. I guess the tooth fairy will be visiting our house soon. Yes. Tonight, I'm going to put my tooth under my pillow for the tooth fairy. If it falls out by then, it may take a few days. Oh, what do I do until then? How about putting some cinnamon on the toast? Okay. That's good whistling, little bear. You must have been practicing. Yes, just like you showed me. Oh, my tooth wiggles when I whistle. I wonder what the tooth fairy will bring for such a nice tooth. I don't know, but I bet it's something good. This is taking a long time. You can't move, duck, or the butterflies will never land on you. You got one! Well, I had one. Hello, everyone. Hi, little bear. Want to catch butterflies with us? I can't. I've got a loose tooth. Can we see? Which one? Ooh. Can I wiggle it? Ooh. It wiggles. <laughs> How long until it falls out? I don't know, but I wish it would hurry up. Maybe we can think of ways to help it. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Maybe if you hang upside down, it will fall out. I doubt it, Duck. Well, it makes things fall out of your pockets. Pockets? Well, if you have pockets. That's true. Let's give it a try. Oh, everything's upside down. Everything's in the same place, Duck. You're upside down. Oh. I love being upside down. Me too. Try it like this. <coughs> now, why are we hanging upside down? Little Bear's tooth is loose, and we're trying to make it fall out. Is it working? No, it's just making my head feel funny. Everything's spinning. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> what on earth is going on here? Little Bear's tooth is loose. We're helping it fall out. By staggering around in circles? No, 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 no. If you have a tooth problem, I know just the thing. Now what? You just wait. And how exactly is that going to help? Well, when the tooth does fall out, at least he won't lose it. Ooh. I think it's time to try my famous tooth pulling machine. You have a famous tooth pulling machine? Well, not yet. But I will if everyone helps me. It's simple. Emily and I ride down the hill on her bike. When we're going very fast, I fly off and pull Duck across the pond. Duck goes over this ramp and onto the tire swing. Hen unties the rope and the tire falls on this teeter-totter, which propels Cat into the air, pulling this string which is attached to Little Bear's tooth. And out comes the tooth, easy as pie. Let's do it. Pull 
laces, everyone. There. What? Ready, set, go. Break. Whoa! Oh no. Oh dear. Keep going. Whoa. Well, still a few bugs in the system. Shall we try again? Okay. Please. After lunch. I have to get home. I say we should keep practicing until he gets back. Hello, Father Bear. Hello, Mother Bear. I'm starved. Mmm, corn. Oh, my tooth. Look. Well, my goodness. That's a beauty. It is a beauty. Oh, no! My whistler doesn't work anymore. Is it because my tooth came out? I guess so, but don't worry. A new one will grow in its place soon. Good. The tooth is still under my pillow. The tooth fairy won't come until you're asleep, little bear. I know. I'm just checking. Do you think she'll find my tooth? It's not very big. Oh, I'm sure she'll find it. She's had a lot of practice. Good night, my little bear. Good night, Mother Bear. I guess the Tooth Fairy knew just what to bring you. Yes, she knew exactly what I wanted. Does it look like it might stop soon? Uh-uh. I guess we won't be playing croquet. What should we do instead? Well, sometimes on rainy days, Granny tells me a story. Oh, a story! Will you tell us a story, Granny? We'll gather around. Oh, oh yes! yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, what story should I tell? How about Little Red Riding Hood? All right. But I'm going to need you all to help me. How can we help? You can each play a part in the story. Let's see. Who should be Little Red Riding Hood? Me! Emily, of course. And you should be my granny. Can't I be the granny? Hen can be Little Red Riding Hood's mother. I want to be the mother. And Cat can be the ferocious wolf. No! Me! I'll be the fearless woodsman. I'm a good woodsman. And Owl, you're my trusty sidekick. Whoop! Oh, I guess there isn't a part for me. Duck, you have the most important part. You can be the grandmother's brave and loyal watch duck. Me? Wow! Good idea, little bear. So, once upon a time, in the deep, dark woods, there lived a little girl who always wore a bright red cape and hood. One day, her mother gave her a basket of goodies. Little Red Riding Hood, I want you to take this basket of goodies to your grandmother. She isn't feeling well. Yes, Mother. Now you must stay on the path. There's danger lurking in the woods. Yes, Mother. Oh, look, Lucy, violets. Grandmother loves violets. What did you say, Lucy? I know we're off the path, but we'll go right back, I promise. Oh, look, how pretty. 
Little Red Riding Hood went deeper and deeper into the forest until she suddenly came upon... <gasps> Me? The brave and loyal watch duck? No, duck. It's the wolf. Oh. Meow. <gasps> For you, my dear. And what are you doing so deep in the woods today, little Red Riding Hood? I'm taking my grandmother some goodies. She isn't well. How awful. And where does your grandmother live? On the edge of the forest, that way. I mean, that way. Oh no, I seem to be lost. I'm headed to the edge of the forest myself. Why don't I show you the way? What, Lucy? Lucy says you look like danger lurking in the woods. Well, don't listen to her. She's just a silly doll. What does she know? <laughs> Meanwhile, in another part of the forest... Me! No, duck. Aww. Still haven't caught any fish? No. Maybe it's the music. Hello. Little Red Riding Hood. What are you doing so deep in the forest? Don't you know there's danger lurking in the woods? I lost my way picking flowers, but a very nice wolf is taking me to grandmother's. Wolf? What wolf? Oh, he was here a minute ago. I guess you were right, Lucy. You can't trust a wolf. While they took Red Riding Hood back to the path, the wolf ran ahead to Grandmother's house, where he didn't expect to find. Where he didn't expect to find who? You! Me? Wow! Finally, Grandmother's brave and loyal watchduck. Halt! Who goes there? Aha! Tried to sneak past me, huh? Okay, you ants. Back to the woods. Move it. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two, three, four. Hop, two. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Who's there? Little Red... Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, come in, dear. And next time, don't sneak up on me. <gasps> How do you feel, Grandmother? A little better. Good enough to eat? <gasps> <gasps> And the wolf ate the grandmother in one bite. Oh. Hmm. Now the brave and loyal watch duck mm. knew she must get help. Help! 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 And meanwhile, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. Come in! Grandmother, your voice sounds so funny. You sound funny too. You don't look at all well. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain. Help! 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 Oh, we're helping! Woo! But, Grandmother, what big ears you have. Speak up here! I can hardly hear you! But, Grandmother, what big eyes you have. I can't see a thing! But, Grandmother, what big teeth you have. Brush her twice a day! Stop that! I'm supposed to say, grrrr! The better to eat you with, my dear! Oh. Let her go, Wolf! Ah! Ugh. <gasps> Aha! Here, kitty, 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 kitty. What happened then? What about the grandmother? Well, the woodsman caught the wolf and made him let the grandmother go. Oh, what a relief. I think someone's eyes were bigger than their stomach. But look, I finished my scarf. It looks perfect on you.
Well, now, would anyone like a snack? Well, that story did make me a little hungry. Uh, for cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Flower? Flower. Uh, uh, Everything all right in there? Everything's fine, Mother Bear. <laughs> what next? Honey? Mm-hmm, lots of honey. Uh-oh. Do you need any help? Oh, no, we're fine. It's going really well, really. What else? Um, milk? Butter. And jam. Sure. How about cookies? Mm-hmm. Some berries. I like all those things. Anything else in there I like? How about a fish? Oh, yes. Throw that in, too. You're funny. There. Mmm. These are going to be good cupcakes. What do you think? Well, how does it taste? Interesting. I'm sure it will taste better when it's cooked. Of course. Mother Bear, we're ready! Remember, ovens get very hot. Yes, Mother okay. Bear. Hmm, that looks interesting. In it goes. And now we wait till all the sand runs out. are cooked. They look done. Just a bit more waiting until the cupcakes are cool enough to eat. Aww. I think they're ready, don't you? Mm-hmm. My cupcake is hard. Mine too. They're as hard as rocks. Everything all right in there? Oh, everything's fine. Quick, let's put them in this bag. I wonder what went wrong. Mmm, something smells good in here. Hello, Mother Bear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> well, where are the cupcakes? Cupcakes? Aren't you going to offer your mother a cupcake? We would, Mother Bear, but, um, we ate them? You ate them. All of them? They were very good cupcakes. Well, if I can't have one of yours, I guess I'll have to make my own. Do you need any help? Absolutely. It's always more fun when you have a little help. One, two, three. One, two, three. Why do we stir it this way? That's the way my mother always did it. Three times one way, then three times the other way. It's fun. Can I add the nuts? Sure. 
Keep stirring, little bear. One, two, three. One, two, three. I love cupcakes. Do you know why you love cupcakes, little bear? Because they taste yummy. Yes, but also because you were cooked on cupcakes. Cooked on cupcakes? What does cooked on cupcakes mean? Well, when you were in my tummy, growing and getting ready to be born, I was eating cupcakes all the time. Sugar and eggs, butter and cream, flour, a pinch of cinnamon, and nuts. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Mmm, doesn't that taste good? Do you like that? Did I like that? Very much. Did I lick the bowl? <laughs> you weren't born yet, little bear. I forgot. So I licked the bowl myself. But I was wishing for a little cub just like you to help me lick the bowl. Mother bear, you make the best cupcakes. But I didn't always. Wait till you hear the end of the story. <laughs> what went wrong? Oh dear. Instead of cupcakes, I've baked a bunch of rocks. What was wrong with the cupcakes? I had left something out. What did you leave out? Baking powder. Oh. Baking powder makes the cupcakes fluffy and soft. Careful, they're hot. Delicious. Mmm, <sighs> delicious. Mother bear? Hmm? Emily and I really didn't eat all of our cupcakes. You didn't? Our cupcakes turned into rocks, too. We forgot the baking powder. Mmm, <laughs> 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 something smells delicious. Mmm, oh, sardine flavor. Mmm, my favorite. Oh, but why is this sardine stuck in this rock? <laughs> what? <laughs>